Woo! Hey everyone, this is Darren from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam. It's a great time to be alive. And we got a huge update for you guys. So remember, none of this is financial advice. And I'm not a licensed financial advisor. And before we start, guys, don't forget to smash the likes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget to go down there. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to go down and also check out all my links, guys. Check out the Doge tipping jar. Show some love. And don't forget to become a Patreon member and or buy the channel of coffee. And don't forget to check out all the merch. Absolutely get the merch. Remember, all the merch, all the membership, all the super chats, all the Doge coin dust goes to charity, guys. So let's jump into it without any further delay. Right now, at the time of recording, we're seeing that the uh, total, the U.S. markets are down, did down down with the except of the uh, Dow Jones it's almost a neutral now so that's looking pretty good overall and we're seeing the S&P is also down and Nasdaq is also down so we we're hoping to get a bit of a, a reversal going but it looks like that that is going to be uh, we've got a big Debbie down and Kai Bosch on that one so it looks like the broader markets and the uh, US uh, stock traders out there they're losing their mind they have no idea what is actually going on out there guys so it is a great 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 time to be alive so guys don't panic Absolutely don't panic. It's a great time to be alive. So you're going to love it. I love it. Let's get it, guys. So right now we're seeing that the, you know, the, I just thought this was kind of interesting. It says chicken. And as you guys know, chicken is one of the main staples, main commodities out there. And rising feed prices mean that chicken could soon cost as much as beef. And that's coming from the co-op, guys. So could you imagine that chicken costs more or the same as beef? Wow, wow, we woo, woo. So you're seeing that the impact of inflation is hitting everybody, absolutely everybody. You know, the rich man, the poor man, the middle class man, everybody's being hit up and everybody is suffering from this whole inflation endeavor out there. So hopefully that, uh, you know, Jeremy Powell now, he'll have something to do and have something to say about it. And hopefully that the, you know, the rate increases will help, but I don't think it's going to help, hate, not hate, help very much. OG gets a red card. OG gets a red card. Come on, guys. And uh, right now we got the alien, the brilliant alien in the house. And you know, we, you know who else is coming? We got the Dino, guys, because it is a green, green day out there. So hopefully that inflation will stop and things will start to go get uh, back to normal. Because, like I said, I filled up uh, my car with a, a, you know, I filled up my car with uh, gas. And I just couldn't believe that it cost me about 25% more to fill up the car with uh, gas, guys. So sure, I mean, it's not a big deal for me, but you know, some people are, uh, you know, living cheek to cheek, check to check, and you know, what do they say, butts to elbows out there. So, you know, when, uh, you know, when your kids are going to the supermarket and they want that toy and they want that extra snack or something that's, you know, considered non-essential, it's really difficult for mothers and fathers saying no, no, you can't have it, you can't have it, you can't afford it. So, you know, hopefully that inflation will improve and the situation will get back, or at least, you know, employers will start to increase people's salary, but it's not good out there right now. So right now, if you look at the heat map in the house, so Bitcoin is still up, guys, it's at 38,410. And Ethereum is uh, also still up. But I have a feeling by the time you're watching this, remember by the time I record it and get it to you, there's around about uh, anywhere from 45 minutes to a one hour delay, depending depending on uh, the internet. That's why I don't do a lot of live streams from uh, Vietnam because the internet is kind of hokey pokey. And you know, the last thing I want to do is be doing a live stream and then, oh, I'm frozen out there. So guys, let's take a look at visualization of uh, Bitcoin. So right now we're seeing that we only have about 2.5 million Bitcoin left on exchanges. We got about 2.3 uh, z- uh, million zombie coins. And what the zombie coins are, you know, these are guys that, uh, you know, threw away the hard disks and written dumpsters. Uh, you know, coins there, people lost their keys to hardware wallets. Also, you know, Satoshi Nakamura, whoever that guy is, also he's got a whole bunch of coins that are locked up and nobody knows how to get them, who's got the private keys. So those are the zombie coins. I wish I was a zombie. I'd love to be access to the zombie coin. Red card, red card for the OG in house. Uh, so red card for the zombie coins. Also, we got about 64, 643,000 Bitcoin on grayscale. Uh, we also got uh, 335,000 uh, Bitcoin on Ethereum locked up. And, uh, you know, we've got about 328,500 Bitcoin are mined every single year. Ka-chang, ka-chang. And then we've, you know, we've got, uh, you know, about 190, almost 200,000 uh, bitcoins that have been seized plus token scams you know the, the things that are kind of locked up with governments and stuff like that and then we still got about 138,000 bitcoins still locked up in uh, Mount Gox walls remember that whole big scammy whammy from a long time ago 
And then uh, we got uh, also 120, 129,000 Bitcoin bought by MicroStrategy as well. And then we got the 94,000 seized by authorities. Well, that was the Bitfinex thing. And then we got the 43,200 owned by Tesla. And then we also got Doquan in the house, who's got a whole bunch as well. And then we got uh, the BTC bought by Tim Draper. Tim Draper's got some Bitcoin maxi out there. And then uh, we got 10,000 uh, Bitcoin paid for pizza in 2010. OMG. And then uh, we've got about 3,621 stuck on Lightning Network, and the rest is in circulating supply. And most of that is being held by Diamond Hands, guys. And uh, we've got about 1.9 million left to be mined. And that's it, guys. Once the 1.9 million bidding is mined, that's it. Bitcoin finished. And remember, we're not making any more. That's why Bitcoin is a huge hedge against inflation, guys. So that's cool. That's pretty cool beans, guys. So I thought this was interesting. It took 12 years for the first country to adopt a bitty. That was El Salvador. El Salvador out there. And it only took 10, min 10 months for the Central African Republic to become the second country to make Bitcoin legal tender. And probably it's going to be even faster to take uh, the third country to be, accept Bitcoin as legal tenant. That could be Panama out there. Panama, Panama, Panama. So let's get it. Boop the likes for Panama. Remember, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. And if you're loving this content, show some love for the OG, guys. Show some love for the OG. And smash the likes. Boop the likes. Subscribe. And don't forget to give a super chat. Where are the super chat? OMG, I'm not feeling love. And don't forget the Dogecoin tipping jar. Uh, show some love, guys. Send us some dust. Send us some of your Dogecoin dust, guys. So it looks like the Bitcoin mining difficulty is at an all-time high. It's going parabolic. It's going gangbusters out there. And this is very important because you can still see the, big, the Bitcoin network is still strong. The miners are still strong. And this is also pretty much indicative of the price. As we see the mining hash rate and mining difficulty go up, often Bitcoin will fall. Right now we're seeing that the fundamentals of Bitcoin, the amount of Bitcoin on exchange is going down, dee 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 dee, dee down, I'm back. And, uh, but you know, even though the technicals and the fundamentals are looking very strong, the Bitcoin price is still not showing the pricing and the price action that we'd like to see. And a lot of that has to do with the, like market makers and manipulation out there. And you know, also too, remember, we see a lot of co countries and a lot of companies aping into Bitcoin like never before. And the people are like, like, why? Why, uh, why is Bitcoin not going up? Because these guys buy off the OTC. And because they buy off the OTC, it's not affecting the uh, order books on the spot exchange. So that's why we're not seeing incredible movements in Bitcoin. But it's coming, guys. It's absolutely coming. Trust me. Well, well, when an influencer says, trust me, don't trust them, what I'm saying is, I believe that Bitcoin is going to go up. I believe that Ethereum is going to go up. I know that Dogecoin is definitely going to be going uppity, uppity, up. And the alien, the brilliant alien also believes that. Get the alien, the alien. The alien can tell the future. What? He just said Bitcoin's going to hit 100,000 in June. Bitcoin face. YouTuber face. <laughs> definitely, I, but definitely in, in the summertime, we're going to be seeing that Bitcoin is going to be going up, up, up. What? He also said, Ethereum is going to go up. So it's going to go smash the likes, put the likes. So the network is strong uh, and, and it's going parabolic, guys. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good news, guys. So, you know, if you take a look at Bitcoin has been following this market structure for 11 years. And, you know, Wendy Trendy is your friendy. You sometimes you just need to zoom way out, zoom way out. And when you do that, you will realize that Bitcoin is going up in this direction. Sure, there's going to be some peaks. There's going to be some peaks. There's going to be some valleys. But overall, the direction is going like this. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, right, guys? You know, right now, you guys are like, what's going on? Uh, things are just going nuts out there. And uh, why is it not going up fast enough? I know you guys want to have, like, instant gratification. Oh, get, get. Oh, jeez. The Debbie Donner Bear tried to attack the Green Dino. Because he's not happy because the markets have been up green all day today. And he's been kind of... Good order there. He's order there now. What's your problem there, Debbie Downer Bear? So Debbie Downer Bear just like went after the Dino Dino in there. So make a comment. Tell the Debbie Downer Bear to get out of town because every time he shows his face on this channel, you know what happens next. The Biddy price goes, <laughs> the Ethereum price goes, <laughs> and then the Dogecoin price goes, <laughs> and we don't want that. Get out of there, Debbie Downer Bear. We don't want to see you on this channel anymore. Get out of there. So, <laughs> so I just started, hopefully you guys are laughing out there because, you know, part of my channel is not only about giving information, having a little bit of fun. I like to make you guys laugh because, you know, sometimes some YouTuber channels are so serious out there. It's like, eh, ah, uh, 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 like, like, so serious. Like, you know, it's, it's like, you know, 
I like to be lighthearted and let's just chilly willy guys. So, you know, right now we're here and Bitcoin's been following this pattern. And I still believe that as you know, we can see a peak coming in at $360,000. You know, that's just cool being. So, you know, if we look at the 5th of, Jan 5th of November, 2022, uh, he's predicting that we could be at $160,000 in November, guys. $160,000 in November. Can you imagine? $160,000 in November. That would make me very, very happy, guys. And I'm sure that would make you happy. Boop the likes, guys. Smash the likes and show some love with some super chatty wise. Looks like report a Nigerian trio allegedly uses money laundering proceeds to buy Bitcoins worth over $43 million. So it looks like we had some nasty actors out there. So three Nigerian nationals are accused of, you know, money laundering and proceeds to buy Bitcoin worth $43 million on crypto exchange platform like Binance and Busha. The trio is accused of moving the equivalent of $100 $215 million from Nigerian Kenya, Nigeria to Kenya between October uh, and uh, November 2020. So hopefully these guys are going to get nabbed and they're going to be uh, put behind bars because that's not good, guys. So watch out there. Remember, there's a lot of bosses, a lot of scammers out there, so don't fall prey. If it sounds too good to be true, it ain't true, okay? So just be careful out there. Crypto's a jungle, guys. Be safe out there. It's absolutely a wild, wild west when it comes to crypto. Remember, there's really no regulation out there. Also, too, we're seeing that the Bitcoin ATM installations uh, continues for the continues to slow down for the fourth month. So we're seeing, you know, that uh, Bitcoin right now, the installation of Bitcoin ATMs has gone down, de -de 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 down, down. And why it's going down? Well, you know, as Bitcoin price goes down, uh, the demand is less, you know, because, you know, Joe Public, they're, you know, retail investors, they're still hiding under rocks, guys. You know, like, like. Where are the retail investors? Hello, where are the retail investors out there? I can't see you. I can't because they're waiting for some confirmation because you know they're not gonna FOMO into Bitcoin until they start to see prices going nuts, right? So right now, for the price of Bitcoin, we're seeing Bitcoin is at thirty-eight thousand nine hundred sixty-one. And all day it's kind of been, it's kind of just been kind of like teetering uh, between between you know like uh, 38,200, 39,200. So it's just been, it's just been range bound about $1,000 all day. It's been flippy floppy, like bing, 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 bing. So, you know, I'm just concerned, but because hey, if we look at the US markets right now, I'm concerned right now because at time of recording, you can see the US markets are kind of, looks like we might, looks like it might be flipping, flipping green right there. So hopefully that will continue. I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it will continue. Uh, we're also seeing that uh, Bitcoin on the four hours looking much stronger right now. Uh, so we have this resistance, we have this resistance line around about $39,000. So hopefully we can get above that. And we need to stay above that for at least 24 hours. Come on, Bitcoin, let's make some moves. Uh, right now, uh, let's take a look at this, guys. Also, this is for Dogecoin right now. So Dogecoin, uh, you know, if we get all these catalysts for Dogecoin, you know, Dogecoin can add, uh, add much utility to Twitter and its content creators. So we've got the tipping, the tipping jar should come out, Tipp tipping on profiles, one Doge button on every post, uh, tipping spaces used to earn Dogecoin advertising. So if this, if this all happens, if we have all of this, you know, Dogecoin tipping jar, uh, you know, they're also looking at everyone has to, you know, put one Dogecoin into the Twitter profile. Uh, and that's a verify you're a human. If all of this kind of Doge Twitterness happens and then Dogecoin becomes the official Twitter, the currency of Twitter, this is gonna be big guys. This is gonna be a huge catalyst for the Doge, your woes, your in-house guys. So this is cool. So right now, if we take a look at the Dogecoin on a four hour, Doge is coming back. It's, it's being supported at a 13 cent line. So that is pretty cool beans in house. So that is good guys. So if you look at Dogecoin, some of the technicals right now on the uh, one hour, you can see that on the one hour time frame. let's just zoom this up. It's looking pretty good. We have a really nice buy signal that just flashed right here. And that is pretty good. So, you know, this is our buy signal and it's flashed and it's got going up. So that is looking pretty good on, in the, on the house, guys. So we can see that we did have some downward pressure here. And this is, this is kind of a support line here. So on the one hour, it's still looking pretty good that we have this descending trial. Looks like we're gonna be breaking out to the upside. And this candle is pretty pretty healthy right now. So I'm pretty pretty pumped up about that. Let's take a look on the two hours here, what it's looking like. So on the two hours, you see here, we did have this buy signal. We did get a rejection after one, two, and uh, then we've gone down one, two, three, four. But it looks like the fourth candle right now is looking pretty cool beans. And you know, we're at 13 cents. So 13 is a huge support line. So hopefully we can get up there. So right now for the price of Shiba Inu in house. So Shiba Weeb is at 20 
cents in the house. So not 20, but a ton of zeros on 20. And we have some we have some res resistance at around about 22 in the house. So hopefully Shiba Inu can get up there. But like not unlike Doge, it's following this pretty similar pattern, and we're seeing that Shiba Inu is also going up right now as well. So you know it's it's basically gone up almost about one percent. So that's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at. Uh, Let's take a Bitcoin on the weekly right now. So Bitcoin is still green on the weekly handle. We've got six days, 11 hours left on the weekly. It's still trading inside my horizontal support line, and that is between 38,000 and 42,000 in the house. So as long as it's staying there, I ain't worried. We got the minor capitulation at 20, uh, 21,000, so I ain't concerned. Don't be concerned right now, but we really need a Bitcoin and the other cryptos to giddy on up. We're seeing right now that Ethereum has also come back a little bit. We've got the spinning top. This is called the spinning top doji candle, and what this means is means that the market is undecided whether it's going to go up or down so just keep an eye on that one it was green it's just flat flash red we're at 2000 and 2800 and 2822 so 2822 in ounce uh for phantom right now phantom did flash up at 78 dollars uh it's just midway between my uh, resistance at one and my support at 51 cents so we're just kind of like midway between that so hopefully we keep on keeping on uh, if we take a look at solana right now solana is at 87.54 it's also just going sideways if we take a look at the total market cap cap it's up slightly from 1.77 to 1.7 eight and our volume is slightly up it's at about 49,000 49 billion it's now back up to 52 and bitcoin dollars has come down just a little bit uh so if we take a look at the total uh, total market and look at the coins in the house bitcoin is still going up it's up almost two percent ethereum is still positive right now uh bnb is still positive we're seeing that solana 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 is negative let's go solana we're seeing that luna tuna is up 5.45 percent so hopefully that's going to be a comeback kit we're seeing that ADA is up as well. Doja uh has just it's just it's just weird because it was showing it was showing good strength. It was showing that the whole week was uh, positive, and now we just flipped negative. So that's not very good for the Doge. Dot is down, and also the Shibi Weebi is down as well. So it's a bit of a mixed bag right now for the old coins and the rest of cryptocurrency. So that's going to bring this video to close, guys. So don't forget to go and smash the likes, smash the likes, subscribe, me, me. don't forget to tip with the Dogecoin tip jar. And remember, follow me on Twitter, guys. And don't forget to check out all the links. I get the links. The links are right down there, and guys and gals. Don't forget to get the merch, guys. So with that being said, I just want to say God bless each and every one of you out there. I love you. You love me. I hope you love me. So if you really love me, show some love with Super Chat. Show some love with Boobin' the Lights. Comment up a storm, guys. I'll see you in the next one. This is a great time to be alive. Be blessed. Be well. I'm out. Peace out, guys.